Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Prime Show. I guess you can call it that. I, I don't really know. I, I've been really uh, wanting to get into a call and uh, have like a little interview with the guy, the creator of the Prime Hut. I've been begging, and the reason why I've been begging um, is because there's sometimes there's some uh, false information out there, and I've been wanting the man, the myth, the legend, the man of it all. Uh, to really voice uh, his opinions and, and, and facts uh, of the Prime Hood. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Vince Aftermath, and I am here with Lord Jeffrey, LG for short. How are you doing, LG? I'm really good. I'm really good. Thanks for taking the time to have a, a chat with me. I, I am the mastermind behind the hood. Yes, um, you are. Yes, you are. I, I am I, I'm not the scripter. Behind the hood, I have to make that very clear. I didn't, I didn't code the hood, but I did design the visuals and also the concept, how it works, how it reacts, and everything to do with. Basically, I'm the brainchild behind it. Well, you know, and before we even get to the hood, out, you know, you know, be remiss not to actually, you know, who, who, who are you? Who, who is? LG, Lord Jeffrey, who are you? When did you start in the SL wrestling game? Um, you know, who are you? You know, uh, I'm sure there's some people out there who, who if they've been living on the rock, probably don't know who you are. But just for our, some of our newer people who have never heard of you, who are you? And uh, why did you uh, take the venture of starting your own uh, wrestling hood? Okay. So it's a good question. Who who's who's any of us? But who am I? Um, <laughs> so essentially, uh, I've been wrestling for on. I've been wrestling for about ten years, but I did have a big gap in the middle. Uh, I was one of the first wrestlers, uh, probably founder of wrestlers of uh, the Fed what, that is now still OEW, but its original OEW back. God knows how many years ago, um, back on a sim called The Streets with Zarina. Oh, the good days. <laughs> the, good, the, the good old days, which I believe, for the people who don't know, Vince was actually one of my wrestlers. Um, <laughs> so that's where I started really getting into wrestling. Um, and to be fair, I've always been more into the creative side of wrestling. I'm into the storylines. I'm into the stories. I'm into the building. I'm into the physicality of the wrestling. Uh, rather than purely just the actual animation and the physical side of the wrestling, I'm I'm very much into the the craft in the creating, pushing the limits kind of thing. So that really drives me into why I created the hood. Um, there was many times where I, I was always questioning the fact of I want to do this, and people would say to me, "Oh, we can't do that because we can't do that with the hood," or. I want to try this. Oh, no, you can't do that because you can't type it fast enough to do the thing with the board. Oh, well, I want to, I want to do this. Well, you can't do that because of the limitations. And I was like, well, why? Why can't we do this? Why, why can't we, we? We should be able to do anything we want to do. It's SL. It's, it's the world of wrestling. There shouldn't be restrictions. Um, so my goal was to set out to remove these restrictions so that you could do it. And, and it wasn't just... It wasn't just the restrictions of being able to do things that you couldn't do. It was also that I was seeing people like wrestlers who were, were less able than other wrestlers because of the limitations they had, because they weren't able to type fast enough, because they weren't able to click a button quick enough, because they weren't right, able right. to animate their avatar. And I didn't want these restrictions because this you're in a world where it's it's second life and your ability in real life should not affect your second life. And I wanted to create a HUD that essentially would let anyone be able to do anything they wanted, what, what second life was made for. And, and that's where it came from. Where do you think right now uh, as a whole with you creating this HUD and whatnot – where do you think SL Wrestling is headed to right now? Really, and I'm not even being egotistical with this, potentially with the HUD that we've put together with the right knowledge, the limits are endless. 
you can part, you can do anything you want. What, what, a- anything what are, you want. What are those? What are those things that you that you can do? Uh, like what are those? Because I've I've messed with the HUD too. I play with it. Of course, I'm not a wrestler full time, but I, I've I've trained with it. I practice and 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 whatever different things with the HUD. What are and I'm telling you right now, I I think it's freaking beyond our years. I, I think if you never did another update ever again, I think we're so far ahead of the game. I've told you that many times. But if you could just take a second here, what are like the three top, because we don't don't have a whole lot of time. I want to make sure we get all into it. But what are the Mm -hmm. three top things or three top highlights in this HUD that you think is going to be game changing um, as we move ahead in in, in SL Wrestling? Okay. Uh, It's got to be the targeting system. So for example, the UUID targeting, so that you're able to switch between different people very, very quickly. Um, and not only that, you can switch between people instantly, actually before the HUD even detects the, the switch has been made. Uh, that's going to give you the security to know that you're not going to hit the wrong person. And that's a very important thing with wrestling. It also gives you the opportunity to open up to things such as Royal Rumbles and and things like that, where you couldn't originally do that without having like two people versus two or three people versus, and then everyone else was ignored. That's one thing. The macros, they they will they're just unlimited. I mean, you can do anything you want with their macros. Your your mind comes up with them. They're 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 my favorite thing about the HUD. Um, yes, it's not something you can literally pick up and learn within a day, but yeah, if you're prepared, you. <laughs> the yeah, are if you, a little bit more if, complex, if, but can you, can you kind of go just a little in detail of the micros or the macros? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the macros can do well, any, anything. I mean, there's some bases for where the macros are, but they are really like roadblocks for what you want to create. So you do have things like target in there. You have things like the animations that you need. You can put your own animations in there if you want to. You have timed sections. So a quick example would be, let's say I wanted to do something where I was to take out a chair, throw the chair in the air, have the other person catch the chair, drop kick them, have the chair remove off them, and then fall on the floor. Wow. You could do that with a macro. Um, and it, it, I'm not even just like making that up. That that you could, I could actually make that macro right now, and we could do that. Before you so, go to your 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 third, I just want to ask this right here, really quickly. Um, can you actually can you sell like a macro? Like, let's say you create a macro. Can you be like, okay, if you want this macro that I created, um, you, I, I'm going to sell it. You know, can you do that? Or is that not possible? Um. Well, essentially. We try. I try and. I've never ever been in profit. Like the Prime Hood has never been about profit. We do have what are called floppy disks, which are free, um, which you can save a macro to, and you can pass a macro to somewhere uh-huh. else. Yeah, that's right. So essentially, if you really, really, really wanted to, you could create macros, and you could sell them. Um, but what we do offer is a Prime group, a Discord, where you can actually go in there, and we will help you. Uh, within Premiere, uh, obviously, it's something that we do in-house, but we are going to be doing some workshops where I will personally help you. And we also have some uh, we, what we call expert users who are have been using the HUD for a long time, and they can also help you with the macro. So it's it's sort of if you want to get into that element and you, you, you feel like you need that to create something unique for you and it's important to you to be able to do that, you've got the right people to go to to, to help you do that. You uh, you have a uh, Discord group, and you have a, in which we'll have that listed in the description. You also have some gr- uh, some videos as well yeah. that can actually show you and help you uh, with mm-hmm. using the macros and things like that. That's crazy. What was your third one? Your third biggest highlight in in, in it's, your whole it's system? very hard to pick just three. I've got to be honest. With you, but, <laughs> but, I know. But I know. The, the third, I mean, there's loads that I've built in there because I messed up and I wanted them. Um, but the um, the th- I would say the third one is the fact that you can put a macro to a shortcut key. And the reason I say that is because a lot of the times certain people aren't able to click buttons 
and certain people aren't able to do certain things at a speed. So even if they create the macro, they might still struggle to perform, say, a running move or something like that. And having the combination of both, being able to create a macro with a series of moves that are timed so you don't have to worry about typing them in and be able to press the button. But not only that, to be at a stage where you can actually just keybind that in. So you could do macro 1, 2, 3, and 4 by pressing shift w e r p you know you can you can do that and and people who have said like say got carpal tunnel syndrome or issues where they really struggle are able to just wrestle better if not the same as other performers and you would never know i gotta tell you um the the biggest thing for me was the moves uh when you when you when you're putting the moves inside the hood and things like that it, if, if i'm not mistaken it's <laughs> yeah. been a little while you know but when you're moving the your moves over and things like that you 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 hit one little thing and bam it just moves it all over and you're just like that like you don't have to go the number one question it. we got asked when we started the hood everyone did it everyone did it and to be fair with you even i did it and it's why a lot of the times you're going to notice that because I'm a wrestler myself, or I've wrestled, because I'm in the game and I've been in the game for a long time, I've got the same frustrations as everyone else. And because I've got them same frustrations, I've cured them frustrations because they, they annoyed me, so I wanted to get them fixed. One of the big things we used to get asked all the time was, oh, it's great, I'd love to swap over the hood, but I'm not going to take all my moves and copy them over yep, to a new hood because it's going to take ages. Yep. And that's one of the first things I wanted to sort out. I didn't want people to feel like, Okay, I do want to swap over, but I'm not going to sit here and copy all my moves over. It's going to take forever. So we created a system where basically you just put a script into your old hood and it copies all your moves over to the new one. Now, some people might say, well, that's great, but I've got loads of duplicates in my hood and it's, you know, like it's a mess in there. Well, the Prime Hood deletes all your duplicates for you automatically. So it will always only make sure you've only got one version of that move wow. in there. So it cleans it all out for you because... One of the main things that we did with the Prime Hood, and again, this was due to feedback we were getting, was lag protection. We practice with our hood in the laggiest sandboxes you can imagine, and we wanted to have the least amount of copies. We wanted to have a direct script that went straight for the animations, and we wanted to have ways to speed up the hood as quickly as possible to get to the animations so that it wasn't having to blockchain or think about things. It was just, I, I'm at an, a hood. I need to animate this person. I need to do that now. And it doesn't matter how laggy the place is, mm. that HUD will always be, have your back. I think from the, the beginning, uh, when you came out with Prime, the, the, the version 1 to now, mm. I, think oh, God. I think a lot of things have changed. That's, that's another reason why I want to kind of come out and, and have this interview with you, because there's been some false information. Of course, you know, the first version is going to be a lot different than the the version that's out now now of course even the first version was really good but of course as time mm -hmm. goes on there's going to be some things that are going to be taken out you know tried and uh fixed and things we a, like we that we had a lot of issues but it yeah. was it was a love it was a labor of love and when it started there was there was an animation there was animation issues there was definitely a lot of issues with the dragging and the pulling we had we had tons of like, problems with that when it first started um and over time, we, we honed them skills in, and we tightened it, and we tightened it, and we tightened it. We ended up doing, um, where, where it got to its, like, biggest change we had was we brought in a team of seven beta testers. And we gave them the hood, and we said, every single thing you find, write it down. Every single bug you find, write that down. And we want to, every single bug you find, for, and it was for two weeks we let them just mash around with the hood and perform in all sorts of areas and they came back to us with i think it was something like 50 or 60 faults and we worked hard to repair them and after that the hood was so stable that everything we added on top of it we knew would work i agree um i i could i could tell more and more people are starting to use the hood uh, there's been a lot more adoption of the HUD from from different federations, which I, I'm happy to see. 
Uh, I mean, it's a really, really, really good um, HUD. I mean, I know the team was small at first, but then as time went on and people start seeing your vision, people really start jumping on to, uh, to help you. I mean, it was all, I mean, volunteer work, and, and they all came in to help, so that's good. Got another question. You know, you're my friend, you're my buddy, my main man, <laughs> but I got to hit you with Didn't some tell hard... <laughs> I gotta, I got yeah, I gotta hit you with some hard questions here, okay? Um, n a crazy question, uh, but a, a, a hard one, you know, with some rumors and things like that. Is Prime I, HUD only exclusive? I mean, I, I know I kind of answered that question already, but is it only exclusive to Premier Wrestling? Does Premier Wrestling get special treatment? Um, I wanted you to to answer that head on. It, it is a tough question. Um, no, the answer the answer is no, really. The Prime Hood is available on Marketplace. It's free. And not only that, if you go into your options in the Prime Hood, which is the little lines, and you go in there, you'll find Gift Hood, and you can stand next to anyone, and you can give them a hood. The only... And then if you go on to the Marketplace, you can actually get the animations that are off there as well. So, so, so you can... So if you got the HUD... You can actually give it to someone. You don't even yep. have to go. Oh, you can see, just, just give the show. hood to them. The, the animations. The, the, you'll you'll get a preloaded hood, which should already have the animations in them. Um, but if you want the gestures connected to the moves, the, they're actually the base gestures you get with any hood. So if you've already got a hood and you just want to change over to another one, then that can happen just by somebody standing next to you and giving you the hood, and you can literally just change over is, that day. Is there like a vendor or anything like that? that The vendor just links you really to the marketplace. That's all it does. Everything that you can get will be in the marketplace, and I'll give you the link to the main marketplace where you well, can get all the Prime stuff. Right, so if a Fed wanted their own vendor, because I think there are more items out there that's linked to the Prime HUD, can you kind of explain some of those things? Just Because again, I don't want to bore anybody because this is a lot you know this hud is, has a lot built into it but just some of the highlights of different things. I know there's like it's not like a prime table all these things and mm -hmm. again how can these feds uh, federations get this vendor is there requirements is there like uh, any you know strong arming do they have to kiss you or something what 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 is <laughs> the <laughs> what do they have to do to get those those vendors so there is some items that were made and a lot of them have been made in-house for Premiere. Um, the reason that they've been made in-house for Premiere is because a lot of them are were still in testing. And I'm one of these guys who tries not to put anything out that I'm not 100% sure is going to work for people. Because I don't want you ever to be in a situation where you're depending on something and it lets you down. So there is some really good items that are at Premiere. That I haven't put into a vendor, but if a Fed is interested in having the hood and they want a vendor, I do have, I can copy them and pass you the base stuff, but I do feel as we grow and more people are interested, and if they are interested in some of these custom things that we have, um, I might put them into maybe like a Casper van or something and then um, the only reason I haven't put all of the items is because a lot of them are sort of branded to Premiere. For example, the mic has the Premiere logo on it and such. But if a company or something or Fed wanted them and they came to me and said, hey, you know what, LG, I really want this mic, um, I, I, would, I would probably probably pass it on with with a different logo on it right um now you and it, this is this is you i mean you're the main person there's i mean i say there's a team but you know you know how it is when you're volunteering and things like that um but it's it's mainly it's mainly you so people have to really come to you when you, you have a question or anything like that uh, or go of course go into discord um do you plan on expanding uh, your team, or or how how does that how will that work as Prime continues to grow? Um, Prime's a community, a lot like Premier Wrestling. We're a community, and and I've I 
very rarely have to even go into the Prime Discord to answer the questions because it's either picked up by one of our expert users or somebody else who had the same problem who walks people through. Not only that, but the videos tend to walk people through. That's right. That's right. So if I am doing workshops um, and I'm, again, I'm open to doing the same classes that I provide to Mere for other feds. If I, in fact, I've done one. I did a uh, prime introduction class at um, uh, Dante's fed. I don't know what he's calling it now, but um, I did, uh, I did U- one over UF, there. UFW, I believe. Yeah. United. Uh, I did one over there. Uh, I've even done some stuff over at the new OEW. And again, I'm I'm more than happy to. I like. A are lot they paying? People... Wait, wait. Are they paying you a lot though? I mean, they have to be paying no, you a lot. it's free. That's free. I'll just go over. And, I'll just go over and I'll just go over and and just and just do it. You see, the thing is, the prime hood is not about profit. It's not about it's not about creating something where I'm gonna make loads of money or whatever. It's about letting the performers do what the performers want to do and not be restricted. So if you're feeling like you're struggling with something or you feel like you want something that you can't have or you feel like you need a question answering like i i'm never ever going to be there to shut the door on you i'm never going to be there going no i'm not going to tell you oh that's a hidden secret like mm-hmm. it's just it, it, you can just contact me and obviously I'm, I'm i am busy i've got a lot of things on but i will always find time to either answer the question or at least point you in the direction of the answer um yeah, you've always but wanted to do this. Yeah, you've always. Yeah, and, and the thing is, a lot of the, the feds that do use the Prime HUD, we don't track anyone, so we don't know who's using the Prime HUD. So is there a kill switch? To... <laughs> yes, there's there's a big dirty kill switch in the back that we can just knock off and kill everyone. No, no, there's there's no there's so, no. <laughs> so uh, I was gonna. We're almost about to wrap it up. Um, don't want to hold you long. I know you're a busy, busy man, but. A uh, couple of more questions. Um, I almost missed it. I can't believe I almost missed it. Um, is auto align? I know I, you kind of touched <laughs> on it a little bit with the targeting system, but um, auto align that has been a big, big topic of conversation um, uh, recently. Um, I'm not saying how you did it. But why do you think that was kind of a, a main component? Um, wh- why? Because like... I wanted it. <laughs> because I, everything in the hood that you'll find, it's either something that I did. For example, the yellow uh, invert where it turns itself off. That was because I didn't turn off invert once. The, the drag that goes yellow, the, the, the pull that goes yellow, all things because I didn't do it once in a match. And I was like, oh my word, I didn't do it. I wish I'd have done it. So I built an auto system for it and auto align is another thing i was like it's great i can align but it's dead annoying because the other person won't align to me and i've got to keep aligning to them so i was like i I gotta get a way around this um we were the first to create the auto align system um and it was made by myself somebody else and of course the script uh, who, who integrated it in but um well it was i just wanted to kind of go into that just a little bit because I knew there was a little bit of controversy. Well, when it first came out, I think you would agree. There was a little bit of controversy when it first came out and people were saying that, oh, people are being lazy and all this other thing, yada, yada, yada. But I think it kind of circles back to when you were talking about at the beginning, like there are certain things, there are certain things that kind of hinder people from being able to um, yeah, it, put on exactly. the lag. I mean, computer. Not everybody's got a gaming computer. Other medical issues and things like that. But what do you, what do you think? What, what what's your nothing, take on that? Nothing to do with laziness. Absolutely nothing. I can. I I've seen wrestlers who've done whole matches without using a wall align. I've seen wrestlers who who've done the whole match and, they, and they've had auto align. It's not about laziness. It's about what you want to achieve and certain moves that you do. You will require that auto align. You will gives need you an option. it to yeah, it gives do you them. An option. And if you are somebody who is struggling with lining up, why should you be penalized if you are unable to do it? Because let's say, let's say you haven't got them. Let's say you're a thirty year old, thirty year ret- veteran who's been doing wrestling for God knows how long. But the person you're wrestling, they just really can't line up well with you. Should you be penalized because they're struggling to to line up with you, or should you be able to help them? 
by helping them with the system to give you and them the match that you deserve. It's nothing to do with being lazy. It's it's a way of it's a way of helping each other. And I just want to point out that the auto align system it, it isn't the way some people think it is, which is that you press a button and it it just turns you to them. There is many features within the auto align system. There is the ability to have them face you and you face them. There's the ability to have them face away from you and you face their back. You can face your back to them. You can have it so they don't move and you turn to them. You can have it so you don't move and they turn to you. And soon we're looking at bringing in a system where you get to the side of them. So you can do side moves as well. So it isn't just the functionality of you turn to face them, which is really good on rope shoots, by the way you can put it into a macro with a rope shoot and as you rope shoot using your f5 it will actually turn you to face them but also if you want it'll turn them to face you so you can get that perfect clothesline every time if you want it wow that's uh that's interesting again a lot of this stuff is kind of over my head because 10 years ago 10 years ago um we didn't have none of this stuff we had the ac no, pws no. and and sure people forget that stuff. as well. They think they think, oh, you know, oh, LG spoil. He does all this thing and like all these wrestlers thingy. But like we train the old way, like a uh, uh, premiere, and and I still live by the old way. I I was trained by. I'll bring you. I'm gonna bring his name up. You know, you, you know what's a bit. Derek Zane trained me, and the way that we trained was hard. I mean, it was really hard. Like we didn't have a, a lot of lines. We had to do 30, 40, 50, 60 times to get it, which is great. If you can do it, but I saw so many wrestlers back then, so many wrestlers not make the cut. And they didn't make the cut because they didn't want to do it. They didn't make the cut because they were lazy. They didn't make the cut because they were like they didn't have the passion to do it or the heart or the, the promo skills. They didn't make the cut because they just couldn't type fast enough. Right. And I and I it always used to wind me up because it was it, it wasn't their it was their it wasn't their fault that they couldn't do it. But they couldn't make the distance because they weren't they weren't quick enough. Um, no, you're I, absolutely you're absolutely right. And and like I, I kind of always go back to uh, now there are some people who are you know kind of lazy and things like that. But I always go back to this is um, the disability thing. You know, mm -hmm. um, not everybody has that you know mobility to be able to do as someone else may be able to do. Not just that funding again. These computers, oh my God, these computers yep. are outrageously high. So to go out there and say, hey, go get a gaming laptop, go get a, a gaming desktop, you're talking about thousands yeah. of dollars, oh my God, you know, and, and, and that's just, you know, it, 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 I mean, that's, it's a lot. So I um, wanted to uh, touch up on, on two, two more things here, three. Um, it, it, do you think in the future with the Prime HUD, because of course there are other uh, people out there, you know, I'm always hitting you with these tough questions because we're just tough on each <laughs> other like that, you know, we have we built a good relationship, but um, do you think that there will be any collaborations with any other projects or any other uh, people that are out there who are doing some things that are similar um, or who have already been doing it uh, prior to? Uh, the prime hood. Do you oh, think you we can see? You know, yeah. Do you do you <laughs> do you think that's possible? What are your thoughts? I'll be totally honest with you. Um, initially, when we did the project, we reached out to some people who were doing the huds and stuff, and there was a lot of. Um, oh, I I I want to say there the, there wasn't a bad feeling there. It was more of a we're not really that interested kind of feel. Yeah, maybe because security, as, you know, maybe security yeah, reasons. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, you know. and I, th I think, and I think as we grew, we became more of kind of like the other guys. And I've reached out a few times, um, multiple times, to do some stuff. And I'll, I'll tell you now that the hood is now compatible. Um, oh yeah, it, yeah, you're right. Is yeah, it that's a compatible? Good one. Because we collaborated no it's compatible because we had to force it in so that there, there there has been no collaboration it's just our goals of always been to make it so that our hood is not a replacement but a choice you don't have to 
be one or the other playstation or xbox you should be able to be everyone and i don't mind what hood you use i just want you to have the functionality to be able to work with the hood that we've got um and yes if somebody was to reach out or different companies were to reach out and they would like some kind of collaboration whether it be move makers or even other script makers who are making unique things that they want to be able to integrate somehow into the prime system or you know other hood makers who want to make it more compatible so that we can really share kind of like the the compatibility of the hoods um i i would be i would be definitely open to a chat um it's just i think we've always been kind of that other team and i think we're doing all right yeah. and we will continue to develop what we're doing and we will continue to try and be think outside the box i don't like to copy or be that pe be them people who are kind of like what's it i like to do something and then everyone else sort of copies mine and if i'm not doing that then i'm not being creative and i should be and that's when i reach out to the community and i'll say what do you want and then we make that happen right absolutely and just to kind of step aside for a second i personally would like to say thank you all that are, you know, have, you know, making moves, um, you know, uh, HUDs yep. and all this other, thank you all for doing it because at the end of the day, this is good. This is good for the SL wrestling game. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am each day being able to see, uh, how far we have come. I mean, it's been, I mean, freaking 10 years I've been in the game, you know, and I'm sure there's others who've been around longer than me. And, and just to see the progress and where we could go with this thing. I mean, you look at Second Life, I'm a little shameless plug here, but, you know, Premier Wrestling getting, you know, um, seen by Second Life. And they're starting to see these things could not have been done with all of your help. Uh, LG with your Prime HUD and uh, all the other move makers and other um, systems and, and scripted things that we have with these creators in the SL wrestling game it wouldn't have been possible and we continue to push forward and we're hoping we can do some other special things but before we um, we let you go there uh, LG because we're doing really really good on time one mm -hmm. little things that the HUD actually two more things so one of the things that the HUD is lacking on uh, which people have kind of voiced some concerns on, is the cell HUD, is that something that <laughs> maybe we'll see? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Was that something maybe we'll see in the future? I mean, we've talked a lot of good with the Prime HUD, but hey, yeah. man, where is that cell HUD at? Okay, so the reason there isn't a cell HUD is because there is a cell HUD that uh, is used, which is normally the reflex. There's a few other new people making cell HUDs. The only issue we found is after deconstructing the cell hood, we found that the, the the inline code of the cell hood was not it wasn't as streamlined as we'd want it. We we really really knuckled down on the lag factor, and we do want to create something that was integrated within the system. The issue that I've got, and this comes down to really the collaboration that you were saying, is I aren't an animator, and I'm not somebody who would really want to create something that somebody else has created. And there's, there is cell hoods out there, and they are full of animations. There's probably about, I would say, 200 animations in the cell hoods. For me to recreate all of them 200 animations to create a HUD that would do what that HUD does, but be more connected and to the Prime HUD, but on top of that be less laggy. I sort of trying to work out whether that is something that I would want to do, designate that much time and scripting into when I could designate it into an area where maybe we'd create something new that's never been done rather than recreate something that's already been done so yes if somebody for example somebody from the reflex team or somebody from other team was willing to provide me with the animations and work with me in collaboration with a new cell hood that was more compatible with the the prime hood and and was also connected to say the macro system where you could pull the cells um you know from from the macros which you, you can do anyway because a lot of the cells are already within the prime hood, um, then maybe we'd, we'd do it. 
Well, that's cool, man. So not saying no, but not saying yes, and not saying yes, and not saying no when it comes down to a prime not, not seller. Yet. Okay, okay. Not yet. Um, and, and, and you also put in a nugget in there that you're not looking into trying to branch out into making moves or anything like that. Your primary no. focus is uh, creating a better wrestling HUD in general. Uh, from the, from the I, I will the make items I have done in the past, and you've seen them up in, right. in Premier Wrestling. But I only create items if I require something that isn't possible. So, for example, light tubes was something people asked for. They wanted the ability to smash a light tube and break it over. So I didn't see them. I hadn't seen them in SL. I hadn't seen anyone build one of them. So I created one of them because it's something that we didn't have. Um, another thing was thumbtacks. People, the ability to throw thumbtacks on the floor. No one had seemed to put one of them together it was something i couldn't find in sl um so i built it so a lot of the things you'll find that i put together are something that i've looked for and if i normally if i find something like if i'm looking on marketplace and i find some fun tax and I, I will just link them to that because I, not just that vince i i could make them i could make these items and again sometimes they, they don't work kind of the way i want them to but I'd prefer to be rewarding the content creators who are creating stuff for the wrestling industry because these people are going to create more content if they're getting the funding that they require for the time that they're spending. Right. Um, and that's important to me because I'm one guy. I can create a prime hood. I can create a load of stuff. But if there's 30 people who are benefiting from wrestling and because we're bringing so many people into wrestling, we are kind of like shining the light on wrestling more people are going to be interested in the products too and these these small time people or, or even big time people who've been creating things are going to see an increase in sales and i don't want to be taking themselves away i mean somebody asked me once why why don't i make a ring that works with a prime one i'd love to make a ring that works with a prime one but i don't want to make my own ring and i have been in contact with with a ring creator about doing a collab because what's the point in me making a ring when there is some really good rings out there that I could work with to create the same tools as I was going to do, but I don't have to take over their business. I can just collab with them. Absolutely. Uh, that makes a lot of sense right there. And I was just going to ask you about a uh, actual ring, uh, prime hood ring, but mainly this is prime uh, prime wrestling hood. Um, all those items real quick, all those items that you mentioned, those are with the prime HUD, like is that like a that's like a branch, like the the lights, smashing lights, all those things right there. Oh. Those are things that people can. Oh, you said no. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so these okay. things, these things have, they 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 become synonymous, synonymous word, but they they are they are within the pri uh, within Premier. They okay, a, okay, okay. They are a thing that we have. Hey, it's okay. Transparency. Um, that's what we want. Transparency. Yeah, and you're being yeah, transparent. It's, because some of those, some of those things are, 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 if you go on marketplace, some of those items, some I was just going to mention, man, and I get people want to make money and stuff, but holy cow, are they so, expensive? So holy yeah. moly! And yeah. I, and I, they're just good gracious. But go ahead, go ahead. And one more question before we get out here, but I, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say yes. Look, for the people who are listening, you go on to, you know, you marketplace. And you look up wrestling or or whatever, and you come across these tables, and they are silly prices. And trust me, some of these items are silly prices. I'm in it for the ga the small guys. I uh, we used to be premier, used to be the small guys. I was the kind of guy who didn't get accepted in the in the role plays of the big sims, and I ended up doing like some third party sim. I was the guy who couldn't get into the big wrestling groups and did the third party wrestling groups. I don't want you guys going bankrupt over a chair or a table or something silly like that. And that's why we provide them free at Premiere. But if you don't want to be in Premiere, I don't want to feel like I'm pulling you or pushing you into a fed that you don't want to be into. And we wouldn't want you to be in a fed that you didn't want to be in. That's not what we're about. So if you're one of these people who are looking at a table and you need a table for your match and you just can't get it, reach out to me. I, I'm never, ever going to turn, turn down and say, you oh, you can't have something because, you know, you're using it for another show. I don't mind. Hmm. As long as you can put on what you want and you can do what you can do. There, you know, I, I'm, 
I'm trying to think if there's anything really well exclusive. I'd say I'd say the only thing that I wouldn't pass would be the current prime table. And the only reason I wouldn't pass it is because it's still in beta. So there is some slight bugs with it, but I would definitely pass the old table. But you're being honest. And a few though. other things. You're being honest. Yeah, I just I just wouldn't want to give it to somebody because if if you used it and it didn't do what you wanted it to do, I wouldn't want to feel like I messed your show up. Yeah, and, transparency. Uh, you know, I'd rather give you something that I know 100% is going to do what you need to do. So well, I want to I want to kind of butt in here. Um, uh, LG, I get you. You're a really nice guy uh, sometimes. But uh, anyway, just kidding. <laughs> but no, seriously. Hands though, the cameras. Right? <laughs> that's right. No, I'm kidding. But the thing is, is, you know, I'm not saying you have to put everything out for free. I'm not. Please, I'm not trying to put out that. Not, not knocking anybody who does it. But there are some, like if you put it out there for at least a little bit so that money can go back into the prime uh, development of the HUD. I, I get that. I understand that but when you have stuff out there that's just astronomically high um for no reason you know it's just i just don't understand to me i, I i've never understood that um, we do maybe we do have you know. some items that are charged but yeah, if you look yeah. at what they are they are the same as with the, you know when you play a video game and you get you, you get micro transactions and then you look at them and they're pay to win and, and there's nothing more annoying than that I hate that. That's like a, it's one of my pet hates. Right. So, so the way we work around that is the same principle as if you get a game and you choose to have, say, a different costume. It makes no difference to your stats, but it, it makes yours unique to everyone else. So if you look at some of the things that you can pay for, let's say, for example, you can get skins for the hood that makes it look different. It has no effect to the hood whatsoever, but you're paying to have a different cosmetic look that may f suit your wrestler different. There's only you who's going to benefit from that. No one else is going to see the hood. It's just you, and when you res it on the floor, maybe. And the other thing you can pay for is a macro hood. So we give you 22 free macros on the hood, and you can buy, and again, I think it's like $200 linen dollars. It's not like 1000 or whatever, and that gives you another 57 macro buttons so if you really like using the macros and you want a billion macros on your screen you can have them the options there and it's 200 I'm not going to break the bank and the money goes straight to the scripter it doesn't come to me i don't i don't get a penny of that it goes straight to the person who scripted the hood i make i make zero zero money off the hood absolutely nothing wow. um and and that and that's something that I think people have speculated over as well. Right, right. Again, then that's the reason why we want to have this, this, this. You know, and I hope hopefully we can have more of this. Maybe we'll, maybe in the future we can do this um, over and over again, just so people can have an understanding of what's really going on. Uh, you're, you know, there because when you don't say anything, some people kind of take things. Trust me, I've been a victim of this myself. If you don't say much, people just trying to run with things and put out their own narrative, yeah, and then that's I've not never, right. I've never minded with with you know Chinese but, whispers or whatever. But it is good to put the right, things right, right, right. So uh, last thing, uh, then we're going to get out of here. Um, what is your ultimate goal with your your system here? What do you plan on doing going forward? What do we plan on expecting to see? Okay, so there is some updates coming out very soon to fix some little issues that we we found. Um, I do feel like at some point we will start hopefully branching out into some other partnerships and being able to provide unique stuff that works from our HUD. You see, the, the good thing about our HUD is that our HUD talks to other items. So it doesn't talk to just another hood it talks to avatars and items so with that said it really can connect to anything it wants so if we were to collab with something we could give special commands that would root from the hood that would then activate certain things within another item or vice versa we could have an item that says a command that the prime hood would listen to and also command back so it, it communicates both ways so that's something i'd like to see uh, maybe some some stuff like that and really kind of growing the community and and i think the more the community grows the more that we'll hear what people want and what people need and what people are struggling with and that's kind of where i'm at really i want 
I'm happy with what I've got with with the Prime Hood. I'm happy with the yeah, tool. Absolutely. I'm happy with the, how it works. Absolutely. And a lot of the people who are beta testing and a lot of people who are using it, you know, even one person who uses it constantly and tells me faults with it, even though there's none. Um, <laughs> the, um, <sighs> it's, it's perfection. Yeah, it's perfection. Um, <laughs> yeah, if it don't move uh, fast enough. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Um, I, I mean, to, to me, uh, just a personal note, just, you know, i got to be honest with you. I'm seeing some of the stuff that people are doing with the Prime Hood, and just like Premiere, the way it's grown, I- I'm mind blown. Like some of the stuff that I see people doing with the Hood, and even I know how they're doing it. I, I, I what's it? Well, it's but fully kind customizable. Of like the, fully customizable. It's kind of like yeah. it's the creativeness of it. It's like they thought of something and then they built that, and it was like I've seen some really unique things that I, has made me kind of go like, wow, that. That's really cool. I never that's thought not about supposed like, to happen. doing that. Yeah, that's yeah, not supposed uh, to happen well, right now. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because um, the system, there's a system in the hood where if you go up to the top rope and you press follow, if you wait a couple of seconds, it will zoom you over to the person. That was a glitch. Initially, you weren't meant to do that until the other person moved and pulled you towards them. It was supposed to stay perfectly still until the other person pulled it. But I got this message from... It was Ace. I'll tell you, tell you his name because he's about to see it. But I got this message from Ace. And he's like, oh, my God. You've put in this auto, auto-aligned auto jumping script into the hood. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what are you on about? What are you on about? And he's like, yeah, well, if you press follow, it like zooms you over. And then you can hit the move every single time. I'm like... Yeah, that's what we put in there. Yep, yeah, that's, yep, exactly that's what, what we, we did. did. Yep. And and that was it. And it was like so we, we didn't we didn't patch that out because it was it was really useful. So if you press the, the there's a little hidden secret for you, if you press the F button and then do your move, as you're doing the move, you'll zoom over and hit them and you can hit them from anywhere. We we tested this out, we had a bit of fun with it, and we set up a ring on like one side of the arena and then like jumped from the stage of premiere, if you know how far that is, into the ring, and we hit them perfectly. <laughs> so you, you could literally go from anywhere. It's hilarious. It's worth a try. <laughs> I tell you this. If anybody ever needs someone uh, to test something, a HUD, or whatever the case may be. <laughs> I love you, Ace. You're a good guy. Yes. <laughs> no, um, if, there is, if there is a fault to be found, and you need something testing, you need a beta tester, I'm telling you now, Ace is your guy. He will absolutely rip it to bits. And that's why I selected him as part of my beta team, because I knew if he didn't find it, then it was something that was really, really rare to find, and it was very unique. Because he pressed every combination of button, he built every combination of macros. I still have a list along as my arm of things that he's found that are so small. Um, and I'm going to fix them all. <laughs> I think, I think he's. I mean, he's ripped that hood apart. I mean, he is. Oh, he's that's done some really unique really, stuff really, with really, them. One of the, one of the one of the. I mean, I don't know how he would have done in the in, in the old days. I really don't because he has probably one of the best. I'm not saying he's the absolute best, but one of the best uh, performers out there in, in SO uh, wrestling because he could just. I mean, the stuff that I just surprised. Me. I know I can't do it. I'm more of a. I can talk. And a lot, the good but, thing about Ace yeah. is every time I bring something new out, he uses it. Every, oh yeah. It doesn't matter how hard it is. Uh, when we were beta, how can testing I get better? Throwing, yeah. We were beta testing throwing an object, and I'll be honest with you, the system for throwing an object back then was a pain in the butt. You had to calculate all the distance. You had to calculate your height. You had to calculate your directions. You had to calculate everything. As soon as I told him it was there, he was putting it in every one of his matches. He was standing, calculating the, the angles and everything. I mean, the amount of work... If you look back to... There's a, um, there's a tables, ladders, and chairs match between him and Hunter, which is still one of the greatest matches. Every single time he throws a chair, he calculated the direction that was going to go. That's crazy. He had to calculate the height, the distance, the velocity. That's crazy. Now, because of Ace of the way he'd been using him and the and the fact of how creative he was within some of the matches we now have a um script uh, sorry a macro in there that is actually throw so you just put throw and the name of the object and it will calculate all of it for you and throw it forward and I'm telling that you. was 
generated it's, it's because of the work that Ace did with with and, the, and not just well. and not just him. I mean, there there are many many people who have just. I mean, the the amount of stuff that you can do with this HUD is like it's just it's insane it's insane and and you can make it how you want to make it you can have the stuff can, saved on all this stuff and I, you can pass them yeah i mean you, you can pass I can it sit here all day and tell or and every time it. you say something you can say and that's the thing that's the thing with the prime hood it's always you can do this and 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 that's it just goes on forever i mean you can cut into moves so let's say for example you want to do a let a 450 splash into a hurricane rana well, you can. You can cut into the Hurricane Rana. So you can do the 450 splash, cut into the time of the Hurricane Rana, and actually have the Hurricane Rana and then do the move. You can cut into to, to the move, so you can create your own move. Mm -hmm. Well, um, uh, I didn't it want... Is, it's, yeah, no, you're, you're good. Uh, the thing is, is we have ran out of time. I was actually planning for this thing to be like 30 minutes long. We have went over that quite a bit. Uh, I told LG. I knew we would. I knew, I knew we yeah, would. yeah. We could talk a lot. It's, we we always we're always. Well, maybe trying we to need to do them. a regular something. Maybe if the people people like this, if you like this video or you like wherever this has been posted, and you put a comment and you want us to hear more about what's coming up, maybe we can do like a, a regular kind of like small blog about what's coming up, how to get things, what tools are out there and available to people. And um, you know, maybe yeah. maybe we can do that. Yeah. And, and you can always reach out to me. It's Matlock One Beat in World. I'll put it in the description. Um, absolutely amazing. I'm glad that you have the time to do this. I've been really, really begging you to do this because uh, it's just so much good information, and I just think people need to hear it from the CEO himself of the Prime Hood. Uh, great vision, great work, uh, an all-around good guy. Uh, transparency is key. Um, so if you want it, get it. Uh, Fed, same thing. Uh, it's it's available. It's out there. Um, Second Life Wrestling. Oh my God, I love it to death. Uh, there's nothing out there like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a great time, um, and it, it, this is the best time to be in it. I mean, not just with the Prime Hood. There are many many other projects and HUDs and uh, animators and um, uh, all types of things out there uh, who are making uh, SL Wrestling better. Um, going forward, and and I, I'm just excited. I'm not going anywhere. This is awesome, uh, and, and I'm glad that uh, uh, the Prime Hut also, you know, exists in, in its fashion, and hopefully it can continue to grow. Wouldn't you agree, there, LG? I 100 percent, yeah. So I, I I hope it continues, and I will continue. Absolutely. As long as I'm around, it's going to continue. Absolutely. Well, we hope you're around a long time. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say, final, as we wrap this thing up? No, oh, um, just thank you to all the supporters who've been, you know, supporting me doing what I'm doing, even when, you know, even I doubted myself. There was many times back in SWE where I was, you know, thinking, Jesus, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to struggle. You know, I'm not going to be able to do this. Um, it's broken. I'm really not doing, you know, great with it. And you guys really just kept me going and and said like you know you can you can do this it is something to do and it it really did help back then uh, because there was a lot of times where i was thinking you know maybe what i'm trying to do is impossible um maybe maybe it couldn't be done and the support that i got back then particularly when you know you'd got real big feds to doing using really big hoods that have been around for a long time i was just that other guy um, and, and people were like, we're going to stick with you, you know, like your hood's buggy and things aren't working right in it. But they stuck with me even, you know, because they believed in me as a person. And I think, I think if anything, that, that kind of says something about me and I'm pretty honest, I'm pretty open. I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. And I think the more people get to know me and the more people realize, cause they only get to see Lord Jeffrey, obviously. The more you yeah, two different people. Realize, <laughs> yeah, the more you'll realize that, like, not a fake. This is like, this is me, you know. Like, and and what I do is is a passion, and I really care so much, so much about, you know, performers and the, and not just that, but like, usability. I mean, if you look at my background, some of my history in SL, it. I spent years and years doing work with. Sorry, I don't want to go over, but I do want to. I do want to say. <laughs> go on. 
Um, I did a lot of work with uh, people who came into SL, noobs that came into SL. I did tons of work supporting them, giving away freebies, doing all sorts of stuff with them. I also used to do classes and all things like that. But one of the places I did work was called Second Ability. And Second Ability, um, along with a company called Wheelies, was designed for disabled users who were in SL, who were trying to use SL. And we used to have loads of tools there to help these disabled users. And in fact, I created with a bloke named Ferd Fedrick a tool called the Seeing Eye Dog. The CNI dog was a universal tool that was designed for people who were blind and deaf to use the hood. Uh, to not use a premier hood, but to use to navigate around SL, uh, which was featured by Linden Labs. And it was actually featured at a, a, a event that I helped set up, which was Helen Keller Day. And this is my background. My background has always been in supporting people and being there for people. And, you know, regardless of your background, regardless of your ability or disability or attitude, I want you to come to me and say, my dream is to do this. And I want to be the guy who goes, let's do that. Let's do that. Let that what you want. Let's do that. Because that's cool. Absolutely. You know, not let's try and do it and work around this or we can't do that because there's no, 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 no. That thing that you're thinking right now, and that I'm talking directly as well to the people who are listening to this, right? You are sitting there, and, you, and you're listening to me speak now, and you're saying, I want to do this in wrestling. I want to be able to do whatever you're thinking right now, whatever you're thinking right now, and you've wanted to do it in wrestling, but you've been unable to do it. Stop the video. Go and buy the Prime Hood. Get down there in that Discord and join the Prime Discord and tell them what you want to do. Not only will you be able to do it, you'll be able to do it within the time, certain time you won't expect, like within the next two hours. So stop thinking about it. Stop thinking it's not a reality and believe, because I believe and our team believe that you can do that and we can make you do that, whatever it is. Well, uh, making the impossible possible. Uh, this is LG. He is the CEO of the Prime Hood. I thank you again so very much. Uh, making dreams come true, uh, putting us ahead in the SL Wrestling game. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Uh, hopefully we'll do this again. We'll see. Cool.